What is up, guys? You are listening to the Rated C Podcast, and I am your host, Christopher Samora. Yes, guys, this is the first podcast ever for the Rated C. All righty, guys, let's hit the intro song. So what I want to talk about today, guys, is about Metal Gear Survive. Mm, man. Two to three days ago, I went back to GameStop, and then I returned the game. Why, you ask? Well, it's because I couldn't play the game at all. I couldn't play the game online because it is required for you to play it online. Guys, I don't have the best network. I don't have the best Wi-Fi network. So that's why I had trouble logging in into the game. So that's why I had it to return it. The good thing is that the game actually costs about $40 and not $60, which is uh, the, it's always the full price for all games, guys. And guess what? Guess what the people gave me back? Guess what game stuff gave me back? How much money? I only had two options. $15 in store credit or to get $12.35 back. Obviously, I chose the $15 in credit store, guys. I wasn't going to choose the $12.35. Like, are you serious? Just for, for one game, guys. It's because GameStop changed their policy like a long time ago. The reason why the person the person gave me that much money was because because the game was already opened. That's why. If it wasn't open, guys, I would have gotten my money back. All my money back. The $40 I spent for that game. That was insane, guys. Like, really? You know, Konami, I think, really did mess up with this game. A lot of people might be surprised too not just only me that online is required for you the whole time when you're playing the game even for the story mode too yeah that's crazy guys you know one other game that i've enjoyed playing is the last of us guys the last of us is like one of those games one of those epic games that you never get tired of no matter how many times you played it. Well, nah, nah, I don't get tired of it. I, I've actually passed the story at least like three, three or four times. And I still don't get tired of it. Everybody's waiting for the, I was about to say Devil Within. Everybody's waiting for The Last of Us Part 2. For summer 2019, I think it's coming out. Yeah, somewhere around 2019, The Last of Us is going to come out, guys. I can't wait for that game to come out. You know some theories that people are gaining from from the first trailer is that supposedly Joel, the main character you play as in the first game, has died. And that Ellie she's having she's reminiscing that he he is still with her. And that's why on the ending she said that she wants to kill everyone. Maybe she's talking about like all the people that were against Joel and she wants revenge, which I agree. Joel has has been like a father figure to Ellie. And maybe if that theory is correct, it will be awesome to see that happen on the game, guys. And something else like I really want to see on the game too is Joel Singh. Because, like, it mentioned in the game that... In the first game, while they were at the university... This is not even a spoiler, guys. It's just, like, something that happened in the story, but it wasn't... It really didn't affect it, the actual storyline. Like, Ellie was just talking to Joel, and Joel mentioned that he wanted to be a singer, and he played the guitar. And that would be, like, something cool if we would be able to see that in the Last of Us Part Two game. I would like I would like to see that happen. And also 
one other thing I, I want to see happen on The Last of Us Part 2 is that Joel goes back to his house, to the house that he he raised his daughter, Sarah. If you guys uh, didn't know, Sarah was Joel's daughter. In the beginning of the game, she, she died because there was an officer that killed her. They were running away from the infected, and then there was an officer that took the gun and shot her. It's on the on the prologue before you even start the main game, so it's nothing to spoil anything about her. I'm not really spoiling anything about the game. But yeah, guys, I can't wait for that game to come out. And also for the second trailer, The Last of Us Part Two, everybody was confused, guys. Everybody was confused. Who are these people? Who are they and why are they there? Some people are speculating that the main lady, she is Ellie's mother. I'm guessing it's because they might look alike. I think that's like the only reason why she could be, but I'm not really sure. But maybe she's going to play a big part in the last of us part two we're gonna have to see guys for part two when it comes out on 2019 because I, I doubt it's gonna come out this year you know one of the first games one of the first horror survival games i've played guys it was dead rising i can say that dead rising was like one of the first games i've ever enjoyed um playing that that's like one of the first games that introduced me to zombie games. You know the, I was, I think I was like, twelve or thirteen at the time when I passed the game. It took me so long, guys, to actually pass it. My brother, he he bought the game. I think he actually paid a full price for the game, at sixty bucks. I think like it came out like two weeks later, and my brother he bought it. He played it with me too, but he just stopped. <laughs> That's when he stopped actually playing like action games, and he just wanted to play sports games now. He mostly he mostly likes playing sports games more than like action games, more than like Call of Duty games or anything in that matter. And yeah, guys, I think that's all I wanted to talk about this podcast. I hope you all enjoyed it. And remember to follow me on my social medias, guys. My Instagram is Samora underscore 3005. Z-A-M-O-R-A underscore 3005. And my Twitter is Christopher J 300 It is not C-H-R-I-S. It's just C-R-I-S. Christopher J 300 guys. That's how you spell my name. It's not actually with the CH. And and yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this podcast. I know it's gonna it's a short one, but I'm just trying out something new, and maybe you you'll like this podcast. I'm gonna try at least make one podcast per week, guys. And I can't wait for you to hear the next podcast for next week guys take care